Hello, welcome everyone to the 13th tutorial of cell programming in my channel Some Tips. Today in this video, I am going to give you the calculator function like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and the division in cell programming. So let's get started. So before starting this tutorial I want to say one thing that in the Linux shell kernel or the .sh terminal does not support any kind of floating number it supports only integer number so that's why I am going to do this addition subtraction everything only with the integer numbers so here I have already written the code in the prg4.sh of program 4 dot sh shell script file and let me demonstrate what is going here so here you can see this is already i have set the, the hash line or the line starts with hash does not going to execute in the terminal so it's for comment line so i have in the comment line written the calculator in for integer so here in the second line echo first number so it will prompt or display user to enter the first number it will read or scan inside the variable a then again the same thing with seven number and will read scan in b now the main thing s i am using for sum s here so what is the s is equal to expression or expr expr is used for mathematical function or addition subtraction expr so any kind of function or the operation we will do with the expr so expr what we will do i have already said dollar symbol signifies the value inside that variable so dollar a plus dollar b and remember all the thing you have to do in, in the this sign and you will find this sign in the standard keyboard the left side of the numerical one and that and not in the numpad it is the text pad numerical one may we find the upper button of tab so this sign you have to use here so basically the function result will be going to store inside s that's why this symbol is going to fire and expert means for expression and then echo the result will be the dollar s so the result will be shown no first is now i have done addition and remember the equal to left or right side equal to is without any kind of space don't give any kind of space but after expired give space after dollar a give space then plus give space so everything will be given space but left side and right side of that equal to button does not contain any kind of space if you give space you may occur error during the running this program so i'm not going to run this program in the terminal and there is a say space file name dot sh it is asking to enter the first number let me enter six next entering to second number let me enter five result should be eleven and that's it the result is showing eleven but i'm and now it's going to another thing that here inside the code i have used expr but the expr is old linux cell kernel is going to use now this is going to end it uh, problem is you have to remember this expr i have to use the dollar symbol twice so without using expr you can also do this so what is how you can do i am going to show you so for that expr there is expr two types of expr so one other types i am going to use expr but using the dollar symbol three times so let's see how you can do this dollar symbol three times and without using this sign so what you have to do before starting this exp you have to enter a dollar sign so as soon as you give the dollar sign next what you have to do you have to start your first bracket so as soon as you start your first bracket it will start and showing the expr so but in this method you have to put the dollar one in double quotation so you have to put this dollar one in double quotation then close the first bracket so what happened here basically 
the x pair this two will be added and the value of this will be inside the s so basically it is going to a pointer kind of thing happening that first of all this memory address is allocated and then the dollar sign symbols simplify to get the value and this way so this is another thing another way so let me find out this will run or not before running don't forget to hit the save button so entering the first number now i'm going to enter four then enter three and yes again it is working now the latest way to use this without exp and very simply way and recommended i must recommend you to use this way which way or the process i am going to show you without exp and just entering this dollar symbol once because in this exp small expression i am going to use this dollar symbol three times also have to use exp and also have to use this double quotation so to overcome this i am going to use the new way the only dollar way but before going to that i want to say that's just perform this addition now i'm going to use the subtraction and the subtraction is also very good and let me see what is going to happen the first number is seven second number is five result is two two that's when it is working now going to the multiplication remember multiplication sign is this asterisk but this does not support any kind of asterisk you have to press this black backslash then have to give the asterisk in this way it will support only asterisk the cell command will not support first number enter four second number enter eight maybe result maybe or the result will be 32 that's it now i'm going to the division now let go to the division and division is normally the slash or back front slash and let's see what happened when i'm going to run this enter the first number oh first number is six second number is three result is two now let me divide nine by five you already know nine by five is not purely divided so result is showing one but there is remainder four and the result should come in a fraction but i, I already said in earlier that this Linux kernel or Linux cell does not support any kind of factorial number so this way so i have showed how to use addition subtraction multiplication and division using this expr so only the drawback in here the multiplication does not support you have to give with backslash asterisk to support multiplication now what i am saying the easiest way to do this without expr and without using the dollar symbol three times i am now going to show you so what you have to do for this for this you have to first of all give the variable name equal to don't give any kind of space then after equal to give the dollar sign you have that dollar sign start your first bracket and again start your second bracket why i am going to say then close two brackets and give the operation now what is going to here here a plus b bracket you already understand here the a plus b operation is going on next outside of the first bracket is going to get the value and that is dollar so the total value will be assigned to s that is the one bracket and a plus b operation that is the two bracket so that's why one is for the getting value and another bracket is for the operation so two bracket is going to use and easiest to you can find it that there is only two bracket operation no dollar sign no double quotation no single quotation no expr no three times dollar sign and this is the best and latest uh, linux built or the cell scripting supports this one so please update your ubuntu if you are using a outdated ubuntu to get this latest version so i am using the latest version that's why i am getting this so this is the very easiest and very fastest way to do this and let me run this 
program again and then it is asking to enter the number so i enter 5 now enter 5 results is 10 so it is working now the thing is that the difference is that this way supports asterisk it does not need it to give the backslash because it supports asterisk but if you give backslash let me find out what is going to happen there So result is coming but if you going to do without asterisk let me find out is it working or not yes working so the advantage of this latest way to use this uh, operation it does not need any kind of backslash during the multiplication function asterisk will support here and with the backslash also support here that is advanced thing but the problem is that you cannot do the floating point operation but yes there is another way to do this floating point operation and all the operations so i am going to show you the floating point operation in my next video so if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and the subscribe to some tips to get more videos on cell programming near future Oh, 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 oh